Welcome back to the show, everybody. Future Father here once again, and we have some exciting news on the Doge Lumens Discord in the general chat. From Doge Haas himself, let's check it out. Exciting announcement for our community. We are thrilled to announce that we are now testing a new liquidity provider role and reward system for the member who provide liquidity in the DXLM XLM pool. This is a fantastic opportunity for all our members who are supporting the liquidity for our ecosystem. Connect your wallet. We can now connect your wallet that you use to provide liquidity in the DXLM XLM pool. By doing so, you will be assigned a special role and earn rewards based on the amount of DXLM XLM you provide. Role Tiers and Rewards Provider Bronze, you have to provide 13,370 DXLM. Provider Silver, 133,700 DXLM. Provider Gold, 1 million DXLM. Provider Platinum, 5 million DXLM. Provider Diamond, 10 million DXLM and above. The more DXLM you provide, the higher your roll. Here's how it works. Connect your wallet. Use the wallet you've been using to provide liquidity in the DXLM pool. DXLM is the utility token on the Stellar blockchain. And by participating, you are helping to strengthen our liquidity and stability. Thank you for your continuous support and contribution to our community. Together, we can achieve great things. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to reach out to our support team. Let's grow together. Best regards. Thank you, Doge Haas, for that very, very exciting news. Before I move on any further, I do want to make you aware. Um, if you provide liquidity uh, from the wallet that you've been using, say my normal lobster wallet where I have all my tokens, right? It has to do with the roles that you are able to receive airdrops in. So I pulled up Brian's profile here. He is a part of the 1 million DXLM role that you can receive airdrops and such things, right? And be part of the chat rooms, the 1 million chat room. I'm using 1 million because it's a round number. It's an easy number to split in half. You are currently a 1 million DXLM provider. And say you only have 1 million, flat, 1 million DXLM. Now, if you want to provide liquidity in the pool using this 1 million DXLM, know that since the Discord, you have linked the Discord and your Lobster Wallet together already, the Discord is reading your Lobster Wallet as you have 1 million DXLM. Make sense? When you provide liquidity, you are removing those Doge Lumens tokens from your Lobster Wallet into the pool. So now when we re-verify your wallet, after we are done with the process of providing liquidity, the Discord asset verification will no longer read your wallet as having 1 million because you provided 500,000 or however many into the pool. So you will lose the role of 1 million DXLM. You will lose access to the um, the, uh, ten, the 1 million DXLM room, but you will also open yourself up if they do have rooms for the uh, liquidity providers. You will open that door up. So you kind of have to decide how do you want to participate? You can also go about it buying more, you know, buy more lumens and exchange them, exchange them for Doge lumens. I just want to make you aware of that. Don't be surprised that if you take from your wallet and bring it into the liquidity pool, how come I don't have access to what I did before? It's because you removed those tokens from your wallet and put them into the pool. That is why. So moving forward. <clears throat> Let's go back to the general chat. 
Here we have Sack. He asks the question, how to provide liquidity? Can you please provide me on the steps for providing liquidity using my balance in Lobster account? MS81 provides a link to Stellar X, which is where um, the DXLM XLM liquidity pool is located. So let's go ahead and follow that link. All right. In the uh, top right hand corner, we will see connect wallet. We need to connect our lobster wallet to Stellar X. All right, we have another menu here, connect your wallet to Stellar X. There are, there are multiple ways of doing so. And since we are using lobster wallet, we are gonna click the first option, lobster wallet. Now, in order to um, do this, we need to install a Lobster Signer extension. Lobster Signer extension is not installed in your browser. I am currently using the Brave browser. Uh, Google Chrome is also compatible with this, I know for sure. If you're using a different browser, you will have to find out the process on your own. Darn. Signer extension allows you to log in to StellarX with your wallet from the Lobster app. You can install the Lobster Signer extension from the Chrome Web Store. How do I log in with Lobster Signer extension? We're going to go through that. Um, also works for Brave. I use Brave. So I'm going to look in the bottom right corner of this window and select Install Extension. In the top right-ish, blue button here says add to brave i'm going to click click add to brave Bla uh, it says brave does not review extensions for security and safety install this extension only if you trust the developer it can read and change all your data on all websites i do trust lobster and i do trust doge lumens for that matter so i will be adding this extension all right, now it says to get started. Welcome to Lobster Extension. Securely connect the decentralized services on the Stellar network and sign transactions with your Lobster wallet. All right, let's get started. So we are going to see this QR code. Next, we're going to open up our Lobster wallet on whatever device that we have it on. I have it on my phone. Open up the app. I'm going to click the QR scanner, and I'm gonna scan this code. Next, uh, it says connection request, Lobster Signer Extension. Lobster Signer Extension wants to connect to your Stellar wallet. Confirm the connection to allow the Lobster Extension to view your wallet's address and request transaction approvals. So I want to connect it. Uh, your Stellar Wallet successfully connected. So now what I want to do, and I've done this before, so just trust me on this process. Close out all of your windows. Fresh start. All right, now open up a new tab. And StellarX.com, and I want to connect Wallet, Lobster Wallet, and then it brings me to the this screen. All right, now our Lobster Wallet is synced up with Stellar X. <clears throat> so the next thing that we are going to do is in the top middle-ish, left middle, uh, we see the AMM, and we're going to click that, and we're going to click the Liquidity tab. And uh, this, is, this is the liquidity overview. Your liquidity position will appear here once we add liquidity. So let's add some liquidity. Um, first thing we want to do is add liquidity position. So we have XLM selected for us automatically. Next thing we want to do is click down this um, tab, the down tab, and select Doge Lumens. Next thing we want to do is we want to be a part of the bronze tier. So we at least need 13,370 Doge Lumens. Before moving on, I do want to mention um, to look up the term impermanent loss. I'm not going to go into it here, but just be aware that impermanent loss affects 
how much Doge Lumens that we have in our liquidity pool that we are going to be opening up, our position. Now, if it if the if our liquidity drops below thirteen thousand three hundred and seventy, we will lose our role in the Discord for that provider. So, in order to make sure that we have enough to account for impermanent loss, the fluctuations of impermanent loss, we are going to provide just a little bit more DXLM than the 13,370. We're going to go with 15,000. And automatically, uh, in the XLM field, it produces the equivalent amount of XLM to DXLM because we have to provide both XLM and DXLM when we are providing liquidity. All right, so now that that's done, at the bottom, we will see um, the rate of exchange for XLM to DXLM. And to the right, we will see that 0 0.02, that is our share of the pool. So when we collect fees, we collect that much of it. So next thing we want to do is add liquidity. Add liquidity. And this is the overview. Our total shares are 442 points some odd. The exchange rates, uh, this is the DXLM, or I'm sorry, these are the XLM deposits that we have made. This is the amount of DXLM that we have deposited. And this is our, once again, share of the pool. And if everything looks good, if you are satisfied with this, go ahead and click Add Liquidity. Add Liquidity! And look onto your, at this point, look onto your wallet on your phone device or whatever device and hit the confirm button. It says signature request from Lobster Extension. So we want to approve that request. All right, then transaction confirmed. Then we are now waiting on the network. <clears throat> Okay, so transaction submitted, and we want to close this window out. And the next thing that comes up will be waiting. So this is our liquidity overview. This is my liquidity position. Go ahead and click it. Uh, fees yearly, we haven't collected any fees on this yet. This is the pooled XLM that we provided. This is the pooled DXLM that we provided. Liquidity, this is the total liquidity in the pool overall. Um, these are our pool shares, and we can see that there are 24 members in um, providing liquidity. So, and here's the increased liquidity, here's the removing liquidity, and this button takes you to all the analytics and everything like that. We can take a look. This is the transaction history, if you want to look at that. Um, all right, so now that we have opened up our liquidity pool position, let's go back into the Discord and we are going to go to asset verification because we need to verify this again. So we want to backslash connect liquidity pool wallet and hit enter. And since I have already done so, it's telling me you have already you already have a liquidity wallet connected to your Discord amount. So for you, you would just basically follow the screen. You will have it'll bring up an address and a memo that you have to send at least 0 .0000001 DXLM2. So go into your Lobster wallet, send 0 .0000001 DXLM to the address that's going to pop up on your screen. Don't forget to add in the memo and then send it to the address and then that will connect your wallet, um, your Lobster wallet, to the Doge Lumens Discord asset verification bot. And then it'll read that you have provided liquidity and now you can press on your own tab or your own avatar and see your new role of whatever it may be. All right, so I hope that helped. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below or go into the Doge Lumens Discord and ask there. Other than that, enjoy your day, 
Happy Memorial Day, and we'll see you next time. Ip, 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 